When the Royal Air Force joined the Allied forces in the Gulf War, one aircraft showed more than any other the might and highly trained potency of British air power. This one aircraft and its pilots won the admiration of the world, the Panavia Tornado. Not since the Second World War with the advent of the Mosquito had the RAF had an aircraft which could be described as all things to all men. The Tornado is the true multi-role combat aircraft in every aspect. Capable of speeds in excess of 900 miles per hour at sea level and a staggering 1,300 miles per hour at 50,000 feet, the tornado has outmoded all of its British contemporaries. Built in two versions in the UK by British Aerospace, one being the IDS, the Interdictor Strike Aircraft, and the second being the ADV, the Air Defence Variant, the Tornado is now Europe's foremost strike attack aircraft. War is the ultimate test for a fighting machine. And all of the claims made by the designers of the Tornado were proved beyond doubt during the conflict in the Gulf. Capable of shooting down an enemy with pinpoint accuracy from a staggering 27 miles away. Being able to run rings around enemy fighters in dogfights by being able to turn through 7Gs and more, and by out-accelerating in an attack. The Tornado is an awesome machine. The Panavia Tornado was born out of the failure of the English Electric TSR2 project, which was cancelled in 1965, as development costs were becoming too high. The government debated whether or not to buy a number of General Dynamics F111s to fulfil their requirements. Instead, but that also suffered technical difficulties and spiralling costs. As the costs of designing and producing any modern multi-role aircraft are so high, various European countries negotiated to pool their expertise and their money and produce a joint multi-role fighter. Three countries joined and stayed with the programme, Britain, Italy and what was then West Germany. To design and build a new aircraft, a new company was formed made up of personnel from all the participating nations. This company was called Panavia and was registered in Germany. Panavia would oversee the contracts and coordinate the work of the prime airframe manufacturers, BAC in England, Messerschmitt Bolkau Blum, MBB in Germany, and Eritazia in Italy and the engine contractor Turbo Union in England. The Tornado was designed to fly very low and hug the ground, partly to avoid enemy radar, and also because it is much easier to get out of sight quickly at near ground level than at thousands of feet up. Now, to achieve this, its Advanced Terrain Radar, or ATR, scans and follows the contours of the Earth at a preset height. The radar system is similar to that of the F-111. The F-111 is a much bigger aircraft. It was an achievement to have such an advanced radar on such a small craft. Its most distinctive feature is its swing wing, a design based on an idea of Barnes Wallace. The wings are brought forward to 25 degrees for takeoff and for maximum lift. This position gives the plane great maneuverability. It can sweep and dodge the enemy in a dogfight. When the wings are brought back to 67 degrees, the gust response and drag is reduced and the tornado can travel much faster, also smoother, at low level. It is powered by two 16,000 pound thrust after-burning turbofan engines. These are small and very fuel efficient. They were designed especially for the Tornado and give it a top speed of Mach 2.2 at altitude and Mach 1.2 at sea level. Unlike other planes, the weapons move with the wings and can still be fired as accurately. The Tornado also has more versatile range of externally carried weapons than any other aircraft before it, consisting of 27mm cannons, bombs, 
missiles and electronic equipment. Innovative feature is the fly-by-wire control of the aircraft through the joystick. Rather than many sets of cables, digital impulses are sent down the joystick to control the aircraft. The IDS Interdictor is an air-to-ground bomber with all-weather capability. It carries as many tons of bombs as the Lancaster did in World War II. It relies heavily on its ability to hedgehog its way to the target, hugging the ground. The crew can see very little at low level, and the pilot gets all the information he needs from his head-up display on a glass screen mounted in front of him. The tornado is a joint